Welcome to my carnival makeup tutorial. Pay attention because I'm going to show you guys how to get this festive look in a very simple way. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and prep the skin. This is going to be so important because you want to make sure that your face is hydrated and ready to be in the sun on the road for hours. So I'm using, I use a little bit of Urban Decay Quench Fix and I'm using my Sephora Amplify, Beauty Amplifier as a primer. Um, all the products that I'm going to be using today, guys, I'll list in the description box, so just check it out. And I'm using a light, very light foundation. This is actually more of a tinted moisturizer. This is by Glossier. And as you can see, it's super light, using a couple of drops on my brush and then going to buff it into my skin. So I just want to make sure that I'm kind of evening out my skin tone, but I'm not adding so much foundation because I don't want to sweat everything out. You know, you're touching your face throughout the day. Um, so you want to make sure whatever it is you're using, it's, you know, breathable. So that's why I decided to go to um, this Glossier tinted, um, tinted foundation, right? So I'm using my LA Girl Cosmetics in Fawn underneath my eyes there. Um, again, doing an upside down triangle on both sides and then I do the little tree thing. Um, you'll see in a second I do a little tree thing on my nose, yeah, the branches, see all that? That looks like a tree. Then the cupid's bow and then my chin. Using a very wet sponge, make sure your sponge is wet and pat. Pat in the in the placement of the um, the placement of the, the concealer, and your arms should be hurting. Like I say this all the time, but your arms should literally be hurting because you're patting so much. So don't wipe, but pat, and make sure you stay in the area that you apply the concealer. Don't um, you know? Try not to go all over the place, like how I'm doing on my forehead there. <laughs> But because this wasn't bright enough, I needed, I went ahead and I'm using, um, this is toffee. So toffee's a little bit thicker to me. And so I'm just using a little bit um, in the corners of my eye and on the shaft of my nose there, just to add a little bit more brightness and coverage since I wasn't using heavy foundation. But with the concealer, I can go a little bit more only because it's in certain areas. And then I'm gonna make sure that I set it with my, um, Loose powder, this is Benai in Beige Suede. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it there and bake, as the girls like to call it. We're baking and we're baking. So I'm putting it in all the areas that I actually applied the concealer. All right, and this is going to sit there while I do something else. Um, and make sure that prevents the creases, sets my foundation, sets my concealer, because Lord knows I'm gonna need it. So right now I'm getting into the brows. I am using Salon Perfect in dark brown um, eyebrow pomade. I like the pomades because it lasts long. All right, so if you use powder on a regular basis or if you use pencil, swap it out for a pomade, okay? Because it's gonna last through the sweat, um, through just the excitement of carnival. So use something that's going to last a little long. I usually, I'm going a little heavier. And I'm using, um, this is also a thicker concealer. This is um, Anastasia Contour Palette. And I'm actually using um, one of the um, concealers there to highlight my brows. Because again, you know, I didn't go heavy with the foundation, but I wanna make sure that my eyebrows are prominent. So I'm going to go a little bit heavier with the highlights of cleaning up my brows. All right, so you wanna do that for the top and bottom. Yes, this is the medium to dark palette, and I am using like the caramel brown in there. That's not the real name, I'm just saying what it looks like. And so, um, because I want my eyebrows to stand out more, I'm using black mascara to kind of define the hairs in my eyebrows. And this is L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Loving it. And cleaning it up on top. And again, this is just gonna give me a more prominent brow. It's carnival. So, you know, sometimes things can stand out a little bit more. I'm not saying draw on your eyebrows to make it look like a box, but you can, you know, add more detail. All right, this is my Bellani Cosmetics. This is an awesome blush. I absolutely love it. It's a blush, like a peachy, corally blush, but I'm using it as my eyeshadow uh, transition color. Um, so, yeah. 
you want to make sure that you're uh, putting it um, you know around the apple of your eye and then I'm going in with my CoverGirl um, cosmetics bronzer ebony bronze in an ebony bronze yes and I'm also using that as a transition color so a little bit deeper it's obviously more brown and um, it's gonna help as my transition color now this is Smashbox it's a Smashbox palette again I'll list everything in the bottom um, and it's like a it's like a deep purple so again it's gonna add a little bit more of a uh, depth to my eye so that's the whole point of these transition colors is to add depth and this is a lovely like neon greenish yellow um, like paint pot color I got from um, the costume store and I'm just using that right there on the lid of my eye again the products will be listed in the description and you have to wet this in order to apply it so um, and it stays typically does stay and it's fairly simple to apply got this from Atlanta costume and it actually glows in the dark <laughs> so I'm using like a um, this is urban decay palette that I'm using now and I'm using like a turquoise the turquoise color adding it to the edge of my eye again I want to add a little bit of a transition here um, so from the yellowish green to now the turquoise kind of make it bright now I'm not a stickler about having a completely cut crease meaning everything is just really sharp I like things to blend so you'll see me um, blend the eyeshadows so it looks like you know a gradient versus a complete cut crease because I'm going for a very mythical fairy type look so I want things to kind of flow so I'm going in with a pink a bright pink on the inner corner of my eye and plus you know I think it's a little bit more simpler to to get that flow versus to having like a, a really defined cut crease right I want it to look very like I said just flowy and myth you know fantasy like you know mythical like that's what I'm going for Yes, so bringing that pink out. Mm, looking cute, girl. <laughs> All right, baking is done, so I'm gonna wipe the extra powder off my face. I look like a ghost, so I need to add some color back into my face. And that's where the MAC Mineralized, um, Mineralized Skin Finish Foundation comes in, powder. Now this is very thin. It's a, it's a mineralized powder, so it's not heavy. It's very light, but it's going to add just a tint of color. And then I'm going in with my Ebony, my CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. Again, adding more color and dimension to my face. So a little contour right there in the cheekbones, around my forehead, and my nose. You can see I did earlier. Same thing. This time I'm adding it to the bottom, um, the, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? The uh, waterline. Yes, adding it to the waterline of my eye. And I'm going in with that pink that I added in the inner corner of my eye. Yes, I'm adding that pink now to my waterline. It's going to look so cute, guys. And I'm just kind of like making this up as I go. Like this look definitely was not planned. So I decided to be a little extra. So I wanted to continue the pink a little bit up. And you'll see that I'm going to take it up a little even further. Now this is by MAC. It's like a turquoise um, liquid liner and this liner is like it stays on forever love it liquid I think it's called liquid last but again description it'll be in the description section <laughs> yes and it adds that pop so if you can get any kind of liquid liner to add to your add to the bottom your um, water line it'll definitely add a pop to your look got some of my eyelashes but we'll take care of that and I'm taking that pink and I'm taking it up because this is carnival because we're being festive and extra I'm taking the pink up into my eyebrow and just blending it in because again I want to look mythical I want to look like a fairy like a you know carnival fairy so the pink is taking me there not enough pink so I think I need to add some more yep sure did oops too much <laughs> blending it all in yes I want it to kind of be blended into my eyebrow 
Now for the lashes. Oh, always the hardest part. These lashes, again, have been used over again and over again for these tutorials. So it gets a little difficult, but you want to start putting, I usually start in the middle and then work my way out. And you want to put it on while the glue is tacky. So blow on the glue. Make sure it's a little tacky before you actually apply it. If you need to, cut it in three sections and then apply it. And do you see how it's hanging off over there in the other eye? I'm going to fix it in a second. There we go. But keep practicing, guys. It gets better. And use some mascara to go ahead and blend your lashes in with the false lashes. And it also kind of adds a little bit more oomph to the false lashes as well. Now with these lashes, I like to keep them light. Again, for carnival, you don't be jumping around, dancing, and having heavy lashes. You want to make sure that you can't really feel the lash there. So while these lashes are long, they're not super thick, so they don't feel super heavy. Because I don't want to be thinking about that as I'm, you know, chipping down the road. So I want to chip in peace. I want to whine in peace and not think about my eyelashes falling off. So go ahead and, you know, add mascara to the bottom lash line. It's going to add some, like, an in-depth kind of look because that black there, the turquoise, <laughs> I love it. Yes. And then to take it up just one more notch, guys. Just one more notch around the eyes. Well, once I fix this, I'm going to blend everything. Take a white liner and really get into the waterline. And it's going to just make your eyes pop even more, make it look doe-like, very innocent, very mythical. All right, look at that. Look how it pops. Do a white liner. Do a white liner instead of a black. Because when you're sweating and everything, make sure everything is waterproof. You don't want a black eye at the end of the night. So change it up. Ooh, looking cute, girl, but we're not finished. I'm going to add some sparkle to my face. So... This is actually eyelash glue, and I'm just putting like, you know, dots on the corners of my eyes. I want to make it like wings. And I take some glitter, and I'm just touching the areas that I actually apply the eyelash glue. And it's going to stick to the glue, right? So it's going to show the little dots. So if you want to do a little design with the glue and then add the, um, the glitter, that works too. But yeah, this is very simple. Very simple, and it's going to look like I have wings on the side of my eyes. Right? Yeah, I love it. Now, for after we do this part, this is another tedious part to do because that wasn't enough for me. I wanted to add studs. But you can very well just walk out just like that. So I'm adding studs to the um, bottom part of my, like underneath my lash right there. Leave my eye. So I'm probably adding like about, I think I added one, two, three, four on each side underneath my eye. This is very tedious because, you know, use a really good set of tweezers because they will continue to fall. And just use, I'm using the eyelash glue to apply. And I will tell you this, um, if you use eyelash glue or even weave glue, to apply the studs, it will stay on. It will stay on. All right, but the, we, the you want to get something that's going to dry clear. All right, and try to do you know experiments with the design. Doesn't necessarily have to be the same on both sides. And then I put one just right there in the inner corner of my eye, give it that sparkle. Yeah, this was the most tedious part. <laughs> it kept falling in my lap. I had to get other studs. It didn't match the colors. I was like, whatever. As long as there's four studs on each side. And then I'm going to add my favorites, which is my highlight. Here I used my Urban Decay in Naked Illuminate. Loving it. And then I went in, let's see what I'm using here, with again my um, Milani blush, that coral blush that I used as a transition color. I'm using that on my cheeks. 
Now in reality, you might want to have done this before putting on the glitter, but I totally didn't, so that's why I'm doing it now. But I'm telling you, if you can, <laughs> do it before the glitter. And then I'm going in with some more highlight. This is actually Laura, Agel, um, Laura Geller in Gilded Honey. The highlight has got to be off the chain for Carnival. All right? Yes. Going in with the Gilded Honey right there. Uh-huh. Perfect. And then I'm going in with Illuminati by uh, Couture Artistry. Artistry Couture. Yes, you see that? Do you see that? Do you see what Illuminati did to me? Yes, Illuminati. Mm, 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 mm. It's for moments like this. Though. Yes. And then, oh, got to get the eyebrows. Yes, got to shine underneath the brow. Show them what we're working with. Touching up some things, guys. And lips. So I'm just going to do a pink lip. I always line my lips with this um, Hot Cocoa by NYX. It's like my go-to lip liner. It does everything for me. Um, because I'm using a bright, bright, bright color, I kind of wanted to line it with something a little darker. All right? And again, this is just like a nice pink, bright bubblegum pink. Um, it's a matte liquid lipstick. I would definitely, like I said, put everything in the description right there. But yes, it's giving me everything that I need. Make sure you blend it in there. Uh-huh. And adding a little bit more Illuminati on my Cupid's bow there right on top of my lip. And there you have it. Yes. My final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful carnival experience.